I've been using Automatic 1111 for months, I've probably got over 1500 hours on it. I'll try to summarize the main things I've tested, and what I've discovered talking to the creators. The first thing is to understand how the commands work in the web UAI. If you mess with the use of VRAM with commands like Medvram, generating a picture will take longer, however you can use Xformers to optimize the generation of images, as you can see, even without Medvram, it was faster, because I used Xformers, the ideal, the best, is just to use Xformers. But for those with less than 8GB it is very difficult to use the program in cases of images with a lot of resolution. No half is to prevent models from working at 16 bits. Of course, not using any VAE also speeds up image creation. Also, Xformers and Medvram change the image a bit. But what really changes the picture is compatibility, like these examples you can see a lot of differences. To modify this you need to follow these steps that I'm showing you now. This generates images of the way it was before the program was updated. Here, Nami, got more clothes for each checked box. In this one, she looked like Nico Robin, in the top one, it looks like leaving the check boxes checked, made the body distort. But it's not conclusive, it doesn't always work that way, for example, in the image below, she lost clothes with the checkbox marked. Another important thing is that Automatic 1111 does not have a specific functionality to generate improved images in the original scale as Invoke AI has. You can notice that the image below is better with this optimization, and the coolest thing about it, is that the image generation is super fast. I googled if there was an extension for this on Automatic 1111 and for now there isn't. However, Automatic 1111 continues to be more complete even without this option. The biggest advantage of Automatic 1111 is that there are several ways to generate different images in just changing the settings. Clip skip for example, if you change from 1 to 2, it will generate very different images, sometimes even changing the style. Another thing that changes the image is the Ada noise, especially if they are more realistic. Now we're going to the desperation of trying to understand the commands, and why your image doesn't remain the same even with identical commands. First of all, you saw that a lot of things can change the image, right? But what if you've already tested everything I said, and even so the image is not the same? In this case, probably the image you want to imitate was made by the person on the Google Collab, the Google Collab video cards generate different images or the person used image to image to modify it. So, we need to force the image to look similar, if the image you want to imitate has a background with scenery, and yours didn't generate that, put commands that specify that. Here in red is what I put to force the change. Note that the lack of negative commands almost doesn't affect the character in the image, and it looks much more similar than the one with identical commands. Another example was repeating the commands and commas, but I still didn't think it was good. So I decided to isolate each command and see which one was determining the scenario, and what most determined this was the masterpiece command, initially I forced the command to the maximum trying 1.2, 1.5, 2.5, but it didn't seem to work, but when I isolated it with commas, the result was as good as the original. So when you get desperate to try to make images as good as the ones you see on the internet, remember these tips. Oh, I talked to the creator of Automatic 1111 about this, and he believes Torch is responsible for the change. And Google Collab video cards use different torches. If the image still doesn't look good, it's better to use extensions, for example, UMI AI is extremely useful to improve deformed hands because it has several negative embeddings, the creator also left several things ready to use like artists and styles. These images are just to demonstrate the hands and the scenarios, how they got better after using the UMI AI, without having to increase the resolution. There are other things that need to be explained in more detail, I'll leave it for the next videos. The images from this video will be posted on Instagram. Bye bye.